Now let's introduce Flock, a social networking uh, app for young adults to help them find community in unfamiliar social situations. Meet Bucko, a college sophomore searching for a summer internship. After countless hours of preparation and interviews, he finally lands his dream opportunity. Summer in New York City awaits. Excited about the bustling nightlife and vibrancy of New York, Bucko dives into his new job. But soon, he realizes that amidst the crowd, he feels alone. Without any friends or acquaintances in the city, Bucko wonders why making new connections feels so difficult. Will he spend the whole summer feeling this way? But Bucko is not alone, and neither are you. Many students travel to unfamiliar places for internships, research, and study abroad. They find themselves swiping aimlessly on dating apps and joining inactive group chats, which leaves them feeling more isolated than ever. Finding friends shouldn't be that hard, and that's why we created Flock. Flock is a platform that connects students in unfamiliar places based on shared interests, backgrounds, and mutual friends. Whether you're looking for your next favorite coffee shop with another caffeine enthusiast, a group to play pickup basketball with, or people to go clubbing, Flock has you covered. Moving to a new city and worried about finding a compatible roommate? Flock's got you. Tell us where you'll be and we'll connect you with other students ahead of time. Thanks to Flock, Bucko now has a herd of people to hang out with anywhere he goes. Be like Bucko, download the app and find your Flock. When I graduated high school, my parents sold the house I grew up in. So when I go back home like I did last summer, I find myself isolated from both my childhood community and my Princeton friends. So last summer, I found myself swiping on Bumble, a dating app, trying to meet people in real life. And it works about just as well as you'd expect it to. I didn't end up meeting a single person. And honestly, I was really lonely the entire summer. But when I came back to Princeton, I shared my experience with the people around me and I realized that by far, I wasn't the only one going through this. And that is how we developed Flock. My name is Amelia, I'm the CEO, and I'm joined here today by Sathak, our CTO. Thank you, Amelia. Let's start by focusing at the very root of the problem we're trying to fix, loneliness. We live in an epidemic of social isolation, a world where everything seems connected to the internet, but the people are disconnected. This problem is the largest in the youth, where over 61% of people between the ages of 18 and 25 report to feeling lonely frequently or almost all the time. There are certain transitionary moments in life, moments when we lose our social infrastructures. This can be relocating for a job or an internship, going to study abroad, traveling to a new country, or as I did two years ago, moving from India across the world to the United States to start university. And it's in moments like these when we feel more isolated and more alone than ever. What amplifies these problems, however, is the lack of a good solution. Over 53% of dating app users use these apps solely to find platonic friends. And this ratio is even higher when it comes to users between 18 and 25. With dating apps trending towards new friend-finding features like Bumble's BFF, it's clear that a gap in the market exists. Dating apps, however, are not very good at creating real-life connections. The conversion rate of a swipe on a dating app to a real-life meetup is 0.06%. That's one in 1,600 people. No wonder people are lonely. That is why we created Flock, because dating apps are highly stigmatized for creating transactional relationships out of social interaction, where people fear be, being rejected based on how they look and end up feeling more anxious and more alone rather than connected. So to summarize the issue we're trying to fix, people are more isolated than ever. The social networking space, however, more saturated than ever. There's an obvious disconnect here, and this is a huge problem, which is why we built Flock, a platform where students can find other students around them that they genuinely share similarities with, a network that facilitates real life connections and meetups, a platform where you're more than just a swipe. When you launch Flock, you land on our home screen, 
where you can explore individuals who are in the area and who you intersect with. Profiles are filtered based on shared interests, backgrounds, mutual friends, spoken languages, or whatever it is that you care about. Upon connecting with someone, Flock will suggest you activities you can do with these people in your area. These activities also filtered by your shared interests. With Flock, you can plan ahead. So if you know you're going to be in a new location in the future, you can connect with people ahead of time. You can also explore communities where you can interact with, talk to, and plan meetups with people in group settings rather than individual ones. If you're going to be in Paris next summer researching and are looking for other English-speaking students around you, Maybe you want a group to go biking with over the weekends. Maybe you're just looking for a partner to take dance or karate or yoga workshops with over the summer. We're built around commonalities and shared backgrounds to create real holistic connections rather than empty transactional ones. We're made to enhance the student experience in these new, unfamiliar, uncomfortable locations. We're built to help them find their flock. But wait, how, how do we know that this problem really needs a solution? And how do we know that our solution is the right one? Well, we tested our concept this summer. We launched a form where students could tell us where they were going to be and what their summer plans were, and a little bit about their interests and backgrounds. We then proceeded to connect them with other students around them, who's, who's nearby and what they have in common. Through Princeton University alone, we managed to onboard more than 400 students in 161 locations. 95% of whom we were able to connect with someone around them. We also held in-person events in New York, Washington DC, and Boston, where over 100 students showed up in person to meet other students. These events also motivated us to implement the communities feature on our app, as we understood that a significant percentage of our user base feels more comfortable interacting in group settings rather than individual ones. This form acted as a proof of concept for us, a product market fit, and helped us understand our market better. So let's take a look at this market we're trying to capture. We're initially targeting only college students. This is a space we have access to, we relate to, we're familiar with, and also a space where this problem is really relevant. College students is a global market of 220 million users, 20, 20 million of whom are existing in the United States. Of these, we aim to capture 500,000 over the first six months post our launch this winter. However, as we all understand, loneliness and isolation is not just limited to students and young adults. Between people starting new jobs, recently divorced couples, people retiring, or just professions involving a lot of travel, like journalism, the overall global market for a product like this as we expand Flock further is over a billion users. Now we know that the social networking space appears crowded, and you might be wondering how we fit into it. So we've organized a little bit, and I would like for you to think of yourself as a social being and the infrastructures that define you as such. For me, it's my friends, whom I mostly met through high school or college. It's my passions and interests, like rowing or the entrepreneurship community. It's also my gender, that I'm a woman, makes me feel more connected to about 50% of the people in this room today. As social beings, we are a compound of the connection that we feel towards individuals and communities. To encompass this, we built a platform that sits at the intersection of these two spheres. Now, the internet has moved many social interactions online. We plan to channel the ease, flexibility, and safety that the internet can add to social interaction, but to push these interactions back into the real world where we think they really belong. We think, it is our we think it is our understanding for the nature of social infrastructure that sets us apart and allows us to appeal to a market that has become saturated but remains unsatisfied. With our business model, we started to really think about who our user is, students. And to put it in the words of our CTO, as a student, I would do anything to save an extra dollar on anything. So we came up with a business model that comes at zero extra cost for our users and does not compromise the user experience on the app by creating paywalls. If Sathak and I connect on this app, and we both like to play mini golf, then I can go to our intersection screen and scroll through personalized business services integrations, such as the suggestion to go play mini golf at a local facility. With the summer coming to end, we started to think about where we're going to take Flock from here. We want to finish building our app by September and beta test it on our 400 users that we onboarded over the summer. 
and friends and family, of course. And then over winter break, we want to launch at select US colleges. And then finally, we want to build the infrastructure for our business model over the spring. Check out the full playlist from the 2023 eLab Demo Day or visit kellercenter.princeton.edu slash eLab to learn more. Subscribe for more videos on entrepreneurship, design and design thinking, societal impact, and innovation coming out of Princeton University.